In this video, we will walk you through the installation and setup of the Vectorworks Site Protection Server Network License. Before we begin, you will want to confirm that you have this network license type. Just check your serial number. If your serial number starts with the letter G, then you have a Vectorworks Site Protection Server license. Also, make sure that you have your Vectorworks USB dongle, license file, and either a copy of the downloaded Vectorworks 2016 Series B installer or a Series B installation disk. To start, you will need to go ahead and connect the Vectorworks USB dongle. Next, you will need to either unzip the downloaded installer or insert your Vectorworks 2016 installation disk into the machine that will be running this site protection server. You will find a dongle support and network licensing software folder as well as the Vectorworks 2016 installer. For more information on installing the Vectorworks 2016 application, please see our Vectorworks 2016 installation guide. Open the Network Licensing Software folder, then open the Vectorworks Site Protection Server folder. Next, open either the Macintosh or Windows folder, depending on which operating system you are installing on. On Mac, double-click on the Vectorworks Site Protection Server package. On Windows, double-click on the Vectorworks Site Protection Server Installer application. First on Mac, you will need to click Continue to let the package determine if the software can be installed. Now on Windows, click Next, and then on Mac, click Continue. On Windows, you can now choose the installation directory. We will leave this set to the default location and click Next. We now have the option to install the Site Protection Server as a standalone application, or as a daemon on Mac or service on Windows. The recommended procedure is to install as a daemon or a service, as this will start the application automatically if the system is restarted. Now click Next or Continue. Now we need the license file. When you received your Vectorworks 2016 serial number, you should have also received a license file for your Vectorworks 2016 site protection license. This file will end with .lic. If you are a Vectorworks Service Select customer, you can also download a copy of your Vectorworks license file from the Vectorworks Service Select portal. Click on this button and navigate to the license file. If you do not have your license file at this time, you can go ahead and skip this step. However, you will need to manually place the license file in the Vectorworks Site Protection Server folder before you will be able to run the license server. Next, you will see options to change the RLM and ISV server port numbers. Leave these options set to default unless needed. Then at the bottom on Mac, you'll see the option to run the server after installation, or on Windows, you'll see an option to add the application to the firewall exception list. Leave these options checked, then click Install on Windows or Continue on Mac. The installation will start on Windows. However, on Mac, you now have the option to change the install location. If you would like to change the install location, do so now, then click Install. If prompted to enter your password, do so now. When the installation completes, on Windows, make sure the option to start the Vectorworks Site Protection Server is enabled, then click Finish. Then on Mac, click Close to exit the installer. Confirm that the dongle now lights up. This indicates the driver is installed and the dongle is functional. Next, we will access the web server to confirm the server is running. Open a web browser and navigate to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 5054. The reprise license server administration page will open. Click on the status button on the left. Then under ISV servers, confirm that the Vectorworks server is running. Then click the Vectorworks button under server status. Under license pool status, you should see a table that lists all the license products and the number of seats. Here we have a four-seat Designer with RenderWorks license. You can see each product listed and a four-seat count listed for each. You can use this interface to help manage your Vectorworks Site Protection license. The Vectorworks Site Protection Server is now up and running. Next, you will want to install Vectorworks 2016 on the client machines. On first launch, in the Login Settings dialog, make sure to click on the Modules button and choose the License Modules. Then, Enable the Automatically Find Server option, or, if needed, enter the IP address of the server machine under Primary Server, and finally click Login. 
For more information and troubleshooting steps, please visit the Vectorworks 2016 Help and Knowledge Base. Links can be found below the video. Thank you.